remember seeing that fight at Madison Square Garden. Great fight it was. That was probably his supreme effort. Round one, Shavers versus Bugner. That is Bugner on the left of your screen, Shavers on the right. Shavers, a noted bomber. He historically has gone after his man very early. We all remember he knocked out Ken Norton in one round. This is a classic clash of styles. Bugner always, a, despite the fact that he's such a big man, always a boxer and mover with a very good chin. Really good left hand there. Did score. No serious damage to Bugner. Two veterans here. Bugner with the left jab in the face of Bernie Shavers. Shavers also gave Larry Holmes all he wants. Had him down. A couple of old chestnuts here fighting for a little bit of boxing respectability, trying to get a piece of some of the big money that's being bandied about now. Shaver's trying to go downstairs here in the first round. Overhand right by Buckner, not a bad punch. Buckner figures to try to extend the fight as long as he can. Shaver's used to have stamina problems. He's five years older than Bugner, who is 32. There's a right hand by Shavers. It scores, but not, does not appear to hurt Bugner at all. Just take a backward step. There's that chin you talked about. Bugner also went the distance with Joe Frazier at one time. That right hand missed, but over the shoulder of Joe Bugner. Shavers covers up from a body attack by Bugner. Under a minute to go here in round one. Some people here in Dallas thinking that that is farther already than this fight was going to go. There's a right hand caught Bugner mostly on the glove. Shavers being a lot more patient here than I can remember Ernie Shavers being historically, Larry. Left hand and a right hand stunts Bugner. Shavers took a left, and now Bugner is down, and that is from that right hand. There's just 10 seconds left in the round. That hasn't happened very often in Bugner's career, if at all. Shavers right after him, has him against the ropes, wants to finish it off before the first round is over. There's the bell end of round one. Ernie Shavers has a great right hand punch. And there it is. Some of you may recall he knocked out Jimmy Ellis in one round when Jimmy Ellis was a heck of a fighter. And Ken Norton, as I mentioned before. Well, certainly nobody has ever questioned the ability of Ernie Shavers to punch. Take one more look. There's an uppercut, a right hand uppercut that put him down. Yeah, I thought that was still the effect of that other right hand, but obviously it was not. The uppercut was the one that Round did put two. him down. Joe Bugner always looked like your classic tight end. We're into round two. Bugner appeared to recover in the one minute interim between rounds. Right hand this. Shavers fighting considerably more confidently now than he did in the first round. Wild right hand over the head of Joe Bugner thrown by Ernie Shavers and continues to stalk Bugner. There's that uppercut again and it scored once more, snapping ahead of Joe Bugner back. Once 
again, Buzzer in his own corner. did get in on the chin of Rudy, uh, Rudy Chambers that time. Chambers appears to be measuring this man here. Chambers is spending a lot of energy right here and trying to get Bugner out quickly. The question is, if he doesn't get him out quickly, will he have anything left? Will his parachute open after the middle of the fight? Combination by Bugner scored in the center of the ring against Rudy Chambers. Chambers is back to the ropes now. Bugner thought he got hit low there. He sort of glanced at the official, but the official didn't see it or didn't think it was a low blow. Bugner started to score with a pretty sharp jab here. Loopy right hand. And what's more, the knees of Joe Bugner wobbled momentarily. There's blood coming from somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I saw a little bit of it on the head of Rudy Chambers, but I expect it's from Buckner. The doctor is going to take a look at it. I never did really see the cut. Neither did I. I just saw a little bit of blood, as you said, on Ernie Chambers' balding head. And now it's a bad cut at the end of the fight. Over. Just like that. Tough way to lose a fight for Joe Buckner. Didn't see it happen. It obviously.